All right, everybody. So we get Dr. Del, Borneo, Eric, and Cedric just by playing through the story. So they are not being covered in this video any more than that. Just play through the game and you'll get access to them. So for chapter two, three, four, and five, I have everyone's names that are required for 100% Giorama. And then the other list is just for all optional characters for the trophy. Make sure to watch the next minute intro. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome to part 21 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum Walkthrough. In this episode, we're unlocking every single follower that you do not obtain through the story. So you're able to unlock every single optional follower to join you. Like, you're, you're able to get every single one of them to join you as soon as you start Chapter 5. Um, two of them are pretty much left until the end of Chapter 4. Uh, like Olivia, you can't get her until the Finny Frenzy, and with Pau, you can't get him until after you beat the boss fight in... Benicio, so you pretty much need to finish chapter four. So we're n we're not going to show off getting like Cedric and Eric and Borneo or Doctor Dell. They just come through the story. This is going to be every other character. This video is still titled as getting every single follower, but just be aware that for them you will need to just play through the main story. But we're not skipping anything. Don't worry. All right, everybody. So we're here inside of the Finny Frenzy. I'm just going to show you my fish's stats so you know pretty much what you need to win. So these stats here should be good enough to win the absolute lowest. We only have to win the lowest level to get uh, Olivia to join us anyway, so we'll be okay. So once you're inside, just come up and talk to this guy. Uh, join in. So we're going to be choosing the Nonky. Beginner. Okay, so pretty much this is, some of these are kind of what they sound like. This is pretty much what you're telling your fish to do. So, keep a steady pace means he's consistent with all your might. He'll pretty much just use all the energy and go out. Come out fighting is kind of like... Attack all of the other fish on your way through the door. So the best way to describe it. I don't really use four, five, or six. I recommend just doing the first tank for the first two races, and then with all your might for the last. If you can't beat the first heat on beginner with just a normal pace, then you need to upgrade your fish a little bit. Uh, you could feed the thing every like three in-game hours, so it doesn't take too long to uh, level your fish up. Uh, so you can tell which fish is yours because in the top part, yours will be blue. So I'm in first place, no problem. So if you pretty much have the stats that I do, you shouldn't really have an issue. You do have to get first place, however. Cool. Very nicely done. Now it's on to the second heat. Now it's time to choose your preparation tank. Uh, keep a steady pace again. Second place or better to advance to the final. So if we end up in second, that's fine. But if we get into third, we're pretty much screwed. And then the last one we're going to do with all your might. Because your fish will also get tired too, keep in mind. If you just do with all your might right off the bat, you're probably going to lose because he won't be as fast. So my fish didn't start off in first place. He is slowing down slightly. But he's in first place now. And then in our final one, we'll make it so he puts in all his effort. At that point, it doesn't matter because it's the final. You may as well go all out. Now 
There we go. Wow, congratulations. You made it to the finals. Choose your preparation tank carefully with all your might. Well, you made your preparations. Now the final is here. Place third or better to win a prize. But of course, your real goal is to aim for the top. He said it. You do want to get first place. I've always really liked this fish, this finny frenzy thing. It's fun. <laughs> Okay, so we are we are in first, and it's not really wavering. Yeah, we're getting ahead of the others. I'm literally I'm literally commenting over fish. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh well. Yep. So I don't want to jinx it, but at this point, if you're that far ahead, you pretty much won. There we go, first place. That's how you get Olivia to join you. And you do actually get a prize for coming in first too, which we'll get in a sec. Under, the only one under 50 seconds. <laughs> The Marden Sword. Cool. It's not a particularly strong... Oh, it's not a particularly strong weapon. But you can build it up if you like. So you can keep going if you like, which is cool. But, you can't play it with a fish that already won. So you would pretty much need to be leveling up more than one fish at a time. So, that is all there is for Olivia. So, we're gonna just leave this place now. Once you leave, the Finny Frenzy does end, so just be aware of that. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda teleport out of here quickly. And then go back in to Palm Brinks afterwards. Cool. Now we can just run on over and Olivia should be there waiting for us. I was watching you know, it was a great race. I doubt that I could have raised such a good fish. Please take me with you. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Her name's Olive. <laughs> I thought her name was Olivia this entire time, but apparently it's Olive. Oh, well. It's close enough, right? <laughs> um, so first off... You need a holy water to get Gordon to join you, and we also we're also gonna get someone called Adele to join us. She, for her, you need to have some thick hide, some hunk of copper, and some sturdy cloth. You can also buy all this stuff here at Morton Sundries, and you can buy holy water from the uh, church right over here. You can buy it from the priest there. What I need to fix the tree is this right here. Yes, Max, you've done it. Now I can take care of this tree. Thank you, Max. My work is all taken care of for now. Now I can go with you on your adventure. Oh, and don't mention that holy water to your father, you hear? All right, well, that's it. He's in our party now.
So for her, you just need the sturdy cloth, the thick hide, and the uh, hunk of copper. You just talk to her. Yes, if I try again and this time manage to complete something, maybe I'll believe in myself again. But I don't have the materials. Would you be able to get them for me? All I need is sturdy cloth, thick hide, and a hunk of copper. Here, have these. Thanks very much. Now I'll try making some clothes. I won't let these go to waste. So she just disappears, so just kind of come down here and then come back in, and she will be there waiting for you. Ah, uh, Max, I finally completed a garment. I didn't want to let the materials you gave me go to waste, and that kept me going to the end. I'm not completely satisfied with it, but would you wear it anyway? Uh, it's so great to have finished something. Now I feel much more confident. I'll do the very best I can, so please take me with you. Be my friend. <laughs> You want me to go with you? I'm just a woman who bakes bread, but if I can be of any use to you, I will gladly. Uh, but first, I've got something that needs delivering to Morton. Would you mind delivering the 20 loaves of bread to Morton's shop for me? While you're doing that, I'll pack for the trip. Wonder what on earth he could want with 20 loaves. It is a lot of bread. Hello. Ah, oh, you're helping Polly? Great. What will I do with 20 loaves? Well, I'm having a cheese fondue party today. In terms of your famous inventions, it's a culinary combination of cheese. Bread and wine. It's mighty good. Everyone eats loads, so that's why I need so much bread. But I didn't want it delivered here, really. Sorry, Max, but you couldn't take it to my house, could you? You know where it is, don't you? Near the pumpkin field? There's a note. Today's party's canceled because the cheese isn't thick enough. Well, alrighty then. So we just talk to this guy again, and then he doesn't take the loaves. Then we talk to Polly, and we keep the loaves. <laughs> canceled, what a shame. In that case, I don't need the bread. Can you take it back for me? <laughs> Good way to screw somebody over, seriously. What? How could he be so inconsiderate? Oh well, you have them. Never mind that, let's get going. So where are we off to? Cool. So we got Polly, Adele, uh, Gordon, and we are gonna get Mulane. You're Monica, right? I've heard you're not bad with a sword, but swords aren't playthings, you know. You have to think about what's in front of you. If you can build up a sword by about two levels, then I'll believe you got talent. Why don't you start with this Gladius? So you may have saw that uh, you can actually bring her other swords, but I've I've had glitchy playthroughs, so I just level up the Gladius twice, and I've never had a problem. So all it needs is Beast and Cyclone, but we're gonna kind of have to go live to win on some enemies for maybe an hour or so, and build it up so we can get her to join us. And we do need her for 100% uh, Giorama in Sedane. So I'll kind of show you guys my favorite grinding spot. I actually just go to the Rainbow Butterfly Wood. And just farm enemies in this first floor. All the enemies here are very weak and pretty easy to take out. They give 
more experience than enemies would in uh, chapter one. But everything here is very easy to do with Monica. This is some of the only grinding that's really necessary in the game, in my opinion. But yeah, just kind of go through here and clear everything out. And um, I would recommend that once you get your sword to like plus three, then you can try and build it up. And then just do the same thing with the cliff knife, which is what it'll turn into. So I'll see you guys when my sword's a higher level. All right, we're back in Palm Brinks. So we uh, leveled her sword up a bit. So what I personally did was, well, there was only one option before to make it the cliff knife, and then I went for the bottom one here. So I have 24 flame, 12 lightning, 12 exorcism, and that was enough to build it up. You can pick either sword, it doesn't matter, but I feel like this one's more well-balanced. It does have uh, that debuff, which will make it so it takes more um, weapon damage when you use it, but I think this sword is also just pretty good to use in general in the third chapter. It's a pretty strong sword. The other one's strong too, but this one's more well-rounded, well and you can use the stats better for a weapon later. So we just talked to her. Wow, that's a pretty impressive sword. Sorry, I had to test you. It's just that if I fight with an amateur, it's dangerous for me too. But I guess I needn't worry about that with you. Right, let's go fight together. Alright, so to get Parn to join us, we need to come and collect an item from the golden egg over here. So if you watch my 100% Giorama guide, then this will be here for you, no problem. You just go up to it, press X, and you get your gold paint. And now we can go give it to Parn. So we just talked to Parn, doesn't matter what he has to say. <laughs> He's basically just telling about the golden egg in the future, but we already have the paint, so we just give it to him. Boom, now we got two more followers. So we also need to get Sheriff Blinkhorn to join us. Now we don't need to read his dialogue. So basically, you have to do... I'm not... Honestly, position yourself... Okay, I messed up. Position yourself perfectly, because this run sucks. It has to be perfect timing, absolutely. Get as far away from him as you possibly can and press X. Okay. So now we are going to do the race. You can't, you have to do this as max ready, steady, go. Do not let go of L1 or uh, do, don't let go of the left analog stick at all whatsoever. You need to try to cut as many corners as you possibly can. Just don't do anything except for hold down the L1 stick, or the left stick. They give you literally just the bare minimum amount of time to actually get this done. Okay, you just hit X on the boat, you hit it twice, and then you just run back as fast as you possibly can.
Okay, we're almost there. Just start mashing X. Just mash X. <laughs> Literally five milliseconds. Or maybe those were nanoseconds. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He he joined us now, but seriously, they literally give you like no time for error at all whatsoever. It has to be absolutely perfect. Okay, so we're going to uh, get Priest Bruno now. This one's much easier. Okay, so all you gotta do is say, be my friend. Doesn't matter what he has to say. <laughs> all you have to do is solve a puzzle. This one's easy. So just... So we're gonna grab this one. And then this one here. This one. And then the final one over here. And we're done. Basically, any candle in uh, the surrounding vicinity will get turned off when you do that. Cool. Now he joins us, and we're done. Okay, so we give him a thousand dollars. No. You just bring him two thousand. Two thousand gilda. Now you leave and you go back in. And he'll give you 600 back. Now we're gonna go get Ferdinand. All you need is a chestnut for him. And now he joins us, and we're good to go. All right, so to get Donnie to join us, we need to head on over to the future in chapter two. And if you have 3,000 Gilda, you can then buy the indestructible coin and the dark coin from this NPC here. You can also get lucky like I did and just get it to drop in any dungeon floor out of a chest. So. Either way, whichever happens, it'll be a good thing, I suppose. So, you can either buy it or get lucky. Channel entrance is where Donnie is. May as well show him our scoops while we're here. <laughs> Explore his shoes, it's cool. Be my friend, Donnie. You should know the answer to that. No way. Why should I have to work for the sake of others? There's not much in it for me, and it's just too scary. As it's you, I suppose I could think about it, though. But then, I'm the son of a salesman, and we don't do things for free. You probably know why that I collect coins. They're the symbol of business. I really want to complete my collection. I just can't seem to get my hands on the dark coin and the indestructible coin. If you can help me, maybe I can help you. Huh? You got them? Unbelievable. Don't just stand there, give me. Okay. Wow, I got them all, and I thought it was impossible. Well, I guess I got no choice now. I'd better go with you. That's it. Okay, so now we need to go into the Rainbow Butterfly Wood. We're gonna go to the boss room. Alright, so we're just gonna snap a photo of the Lafricia stem. 
And that's all that we need to uh, get her to join us. So we're just going to head on over to Palm Brinks now. Alright, this house right here. So right next to Max's house. Max's house is like four times the size of the mayor's house. It might be the other room. No, it's this one. So she's just right here. I wish I could help you up. Fighting's scary and I might get dirty. Okay, this doesn't really matter. I just wanted to read what Donnie had to say. So basically, you just show her the Lafricia stem, she joins your party. So. Alright, so we're gonna talk to him on Max. Doesn't matter what he has to say. You can just skip everything, it's fine. All these paragraphs, and it's just, uh... So basically, you just... Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. Mystery solved. Uh, just... Okay. So all you gotta do is put in one, two, two, one. And then you're done. Boom. So now he will join us. Okay, so we're going to go and pick up Pow next. So, all you need to do is bring a carrot to him after you've cleared chapter 4, and then he'll come and join you. If somehow you don't have a carrot, I don't have any actually. All you do is come to the Jurak Mall, come speak with this guy up top, and he will sell fishing stuff and a carrot. We're going to go get Fabio after, and we're actually going to need some bait. So I'm just going to buy like 20 of these. I'll pick up like 10 of those too. So if you also just need fishing bait in general, you can come here. You only need one carrot, but I just want to have a few extra on hand. So we're just going to get out of this place now and teleport on over to Vinicio. Alright, so we're just at Pau's cave now. We have our carrot. So all we're going to have to do is just talk to the guy. He's waiting for us. <laughs> we can just skip what he says. Okay, so we just give him a carrot. And then he joins you. He's really easy to get. He has a useful ability. Um, he'll let, he'll make it so you always have access to the map right off the bat when you start a floor. He's a good person to keep with you when you're speed running dungeons, or when you're doing the metalhead trophy, because then you know where kind of the whole layout of the map. So he's a very good follower to have even without the achievement. So we're gonna go over to Palm Rings now. All right, so we're up here next to Dr. Dell's place, and we're just right here with Fabio. So we can just kind of skip what he has to say. All we have to do is fish up a Nonki that is 60 centimeters or bigger, and then he will join us. You need to have the Nonki in your inventory. So pretty much you just kind of sit here and fish until you capture a Nonki that's bigger than 60 centimeters and then he will join you. Yeah, I, uh, I think we probably caught a fish that's big enough. <laughs> probably. That took a little while to actually get. But, uh, perfect timing, if you ask me. 
He will definitely be impressed by this. <laughs> so once you catch it, you just show it to him. He says he underestimated you and he joins your party. He will actually make bait for you. So like, he's kind of like, he's kind of like Eric. You bring him into the party, you may have him make you items and then you kick him out. <laughs> and that's it. That, that sounds kind of crappy because it is actually, but he's a very useful follower to have. So the next person we're going to get to join us is Rufio. He only comes out when it's dark outside. So we're just going to wait until it's dark outside. All right, so to get Rufio, um, you need to come here at nighttime. Exactly 9 p.m. is fine. Um, if he's not here, just go inside Dr. Dell's clinic and then leave and then he'll be here waiting. So, just grab a picture of the moon and show it to him. You can just skip what he says, talk to him a second time, and then he joins you. So that's all it is for him. Now we're gonna go get Max's dad. All right, so here we are. Um, so all you gotta do is just speak to him once you can just skip what he says. He gives you a trumpet gun. Um, you don't actually have to build that up. You can just have a bell trigger by making it yourself or by literally finding one in a chest somewhere. You just show it to him and then he will join you. So we're gonna go get Granny Rosa now. All right, so Granny Rosa is just right here. She is uh, in front of the, um, the mayor's office. So all you gotta do is talk to her. You can just skip what she says. Now all you gotta do is put in what that says exactly. So it's a capital L, lowercase e, t. We're gonna go to symbols, and I don't remember what that's called, but that thing. <laughs> I think it's not a comma, apostrophe maybe. Uh, S, now this right here is space, lowercase g, O, space, and now T, O, G, E, all lowercase, and you do need to do a period which is this guy right here. An adventure, that would be nice. Then she joins you. She makes you free cheese, so she is very helpful to have. Um, we're gonna go get Kareen. All right, so we're here at um, Donnie's dad's house, Morton's house, so. We're just going to go on inside. Go up the stairs and Kareen is just standing right here. So you can just ignore what she says. Tell her that you'll let her go with you. And then she'll go disappear somewhere and you got to find her. We're just playing hide and seek. Although, I know exactly where she is, so it's not exactly hide and seek. It's more like, just go over here. <laughs> so we're just gonna go into the mayor's house now. And she's just standing right over here. You have to go find her one more time now. Alright, so we're just gonna go into Max's room now. Oh, 
All right, so we're in Max's home now. So now we're just gonna go to his bedroom. I don't know why she chose this place of all places, but this is where she's hiding. So you find her, and then she joins your party. That's it. Now we're just gonna go get Mena. Anyway. It's 3.30. Another follower is not here all the time. This is the building that she kind of hangs out in. But she's not always here. So it's her. You need to speak with her on Monica. I've not been feeling too good lately. I'm just not up to going on a trip. I got Dr. Dell to come and have a look at me, but there's nothing wrong. But even standing normally, I feel like I'm going to fall down. It's hard to explain. It's almost as if the world's been distorted. I remember those symptoms. In the time I was born, the world was in a very bad state, with more time distortions than you can possibly imagine. This had an effect on physically weak and fragile people. Light people would get dizzy or faint, and heavier people couldn't stand at all. Maybe you're particularly susceptible to this kind of thing. Even the few distortions we have here are enough to affect you. If we can just get rid, rid of some of the closest distortions, maybe you'll start to feel better. Alright, so basically we just need to go do 10 unique uh, speed of metals. But before we do... Alright everyone, so for completing the 10 speed of metals, I recommend that you come to Balance Valley. Uh, the reason for that is because at this time in the game, you can make the propeller leg for Steve. Um, you can use the cart, the windmill feather, and the uh, fan. If you put those three things together, it'll create the propeller leg, and it makes it super fast. Um, if you have POW in your party, you have free access to the map, so you don't have to open up any chests. And there's no keys to unlock any extra areas in this place either, so you can just go straight through and do this very, very quickly. And it'll also make it so you can get all the metals in a floor very effectively. So it's a good idea to come here, if you like. You do have to be careful though, because I mean, there's a lot of holes here, so it's not the hardest thing to mess up and knock this into a cliff and need to redo it. I don't want to hit this too hard because it might bounce off a wall or something and go into a cliff, which would not be great. Okay, so this should be doable if we just ricochet it off the wall. There should be some way to kind of just knock it straight into the speeda, or right into the distortion. So if we don't hit it too hard, we should be able to get it in like this. Possibly. The camera angle is not the best, so I kind of have to trust the mini-map. So if we don't hit it too hard, it should be okay. Nice. Just like that. So, just do all the early levels in Balance Valley, get your 10 medals. And then you can go talk to her again, and she will join you as a follower. See you in a sec. Don't forget to open the chest. Alright, all right, everybody. We're back here at Town Hall. We cleared ten unique speed of stages, so we're going to talk to Mena on Monica. Hello. How am I feeling? Great. I can't believe how much better I am recently. Now the world feels right again. Oh yeah, you wanted me to do you a favor. I'll do whatever I can to help. You helped me, so I must help you. And she joins the party. As you can see, we have completed every follower's request and we have everybody in the party. So you just need to fill out this notebook and then when you get to the point in the story for where Cedric, Eric, Porneo, and Dr. Dell join you, you'll then get the trophy. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope this helped. Have a good day. See you in the next one. Bye.